As anti-bullying week draws to a close, I would like to read a poem by Alan Alberg, remembering, of course, that bullying doesn't only take place in schools, perhaps even in Whitehall. The Boy Without a Name by Alan Alberg. I remember him clearly, and it was 30 years ago or more, a boy without a name. A friendless, silent boy, his face splotched red and flaking raw, his expression infinitely sad. Some kind of eczema it was, I now suppose, the rusty iron mask he wore. But in those days we confidently swore it was from playing near dustbins and handling broken eggshells. His hands of course and knees were similarly scabbed and cracked and dry. The rest of him we never saw. They said it wasn't catching. Still we knew and strained away from him along the corridor, sharing a ruler only under protest. I remember the others, Brian Evans and Trevor Darby and Dorothy Coulter, and the teachers, Mrs Palmer and Mr Waugh. I remember Albert who collected buttons and Amos frothing his milk up with a straw. But his name? No, for it was never used. I need a time machine. I must get back to 1954 and play with him, or talk at least. For now I often wake to see his ordinary haunting face, his flaw. I hope his mother loved him. Oh, children, don't be crueler than you need. The faces that you spit on or ignore will get you in the end.